Hello friends, today let's see how to make a vegetarian sausage and a hot dog bun with it. It's a very simple recipe, very healthy, very yummy too. Come, let's see how to make this. Here I have two potatoes boiled, de-skinned and cut into pieces. One carrot boiled with skin removed and cut into pieces. Half a beetroot boiled, remove the skin and cut it into pieces. Here I have around 2 tablespoon of crumbled paneer. This is homemade paneer. I have 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. Around half a teaspoon of onion powder. Now if you don't have onion powder, you can even use finely chopped. I have half a teaspoon of garlic powder here. You can even add minced garlic. Or if you want, you can even add ginger garlic paste. It's up to us. I have 1 teaspoon of garam masala here. 2 tablespoons of oats, this is plain oats. I have 1 and a half tablespoon of corn flour here, required salt. I also have tomato puree. Now I am going to blend everything together. I have a mixer grinder here. So I am adding in beets. Carrots, potatoes all boiled, crumbled paneer. Now this paneer adds a nice creaminess to this uh, dish. So I am adding uh, paneer, oats, this helps as a binding agent, corn flour, this too helps as a binding agent. garlic powder for flavor, onion powder for flavor. Now when we add uh, finely chopped onions and salt, it tends to leave a bit of moisture. So that's why I'm adding onion powder here. But there's no problem in adding. You can add, uh, maybe if it becomes watery, you can even add a bit of corn flour more in order to adjust. Garam masala. You can even add curry powder or kitchen king masala. Whatever you have, you can add. I have red chilli powder here. I am adding it. Going to add 2 tablespoons of tomato puree. I am not going to add any water in this. So with this tomato puree, we can blend it. Adding the required salt. I took around 12 so soya granules, soaked it in water, crushed it slightly. I am going to add this also to this. Now I am going to blend everything together. How it is all well blended. I'm going to take this in a mixing bowl. Here we have the mix. Please don't add water or anything else other than the tomato puree. Now this appears a bit sticky. So I'm going to add one more tablespoon of corn flour. We want to get a nice uh, non-sticky dough kind of consistency. You need to mix it well. I have added 3 tablespoons of corn flour in total. Now I am going to keep this in fridge for half an hour and then roll it into the a log shape. It's almost half an hour now. I have smeared my hand with little oil. And I am going to make small log, logs out of it. This can be of your required size. I have greased the plates with oil and, and I have kept it here. I am going to make logs. Here I have made it into different shapes like patties, like small oblong shapes. Now let us steam it for 10 to 15 minutes till they are cooked well. 
you can even use an idli plate I have an idli pot for steaming steam for 15 to 20 minutes still well cooked it's 20 minutes since we started steaming now it's cooked and ready let it cool a little bit now it's cooled a bit and it is out it's well cooked now I have heated a pan and I have added little oil to it I'm going to add these to the pan cook well on both sides till it forms a nice crispy outer covering you can even use it as such but I like it a little bit crispy on the outside so I'm frying it in the pan Now it is roasted. Here we have the hot dog bread. I cut it into two. Now to this, I'm going to add some lettuce leaves. Some yellow bell peppers. Some onions. You can pretty much add whatever vegetable you want here according to individual preference I'm adding some shredded purple cabbage too you can add tomatoes you can add green capsicums anything you want I'm keeping the vegeta vegetable sausage here going to add a little bit of tomato sauce and mayo this is homemade vegan mayo Now our vegetarian hot dog is ready to serve. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.